presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, what if you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. This, uh, this is probably one of my favorite cards. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but if you don't take action on an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 288, Nasdaq's up 127, S&P's up 34, gold. Gold contract down $6.50, trading at $19.40 an ounce. We have silver up five cents, twenty-four dollars sixty-two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up ninety-seven cents, eighty dollars two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down six ticks, trading one hundred nine twelve. The thirty-year down six at one nineteen twenty-one. And king dollar, king dollar right now is trading up hundred ticks, one hundred four point zero eight three. The euro is at one hundred eight. The yen is trading at a price point of one forty-six, and the British pound is at one twenty-five to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, we had Jackson Hole out here happening today. Bottom line is that Powell had a, literally a, like a two-minute speech. And what that would happen then is that you we spiked all the way up to this uh, 4427, Okay. So check it out. You hit 44.27, then it gave it up in spades, man, okay? Comes all the way down to 43.65. Now, if you're used to high volume highs or lows, the bottom line, you've heard me yap about this forever, they want to get tested, right? So <laughs> in this particular case, okay, I mean, that's, that's quite a move, number one, right? Well, the bottom line is that we just tested it. Now the real question is going to be, it got up there, it just went two points above it. And let's look at this 10-minute dial. So right now, you had an expansion of volume. So when you test it this early, it's like, okay, now you have a half hour to do something, right? That being said, though, my take is we're gonna, they're going to run into the close. And the reason I'm saying it is this. So that's on, the, that's on the intraday chart because this is where the most amount of money would actually be lost, meaning that the market gave it up. You know, I can see why folks are on the, the wrong side of this market, okay? They ran it up. But on the daily, what you have is that the daily has rejected lower price, has lighter volume, and wants higher price. You know, so the bottom line, you know, we didn't even make it to the bottom of the swing point. This bottom of the swing point is 433.01. Now, the top of the swing point is 437.57. We had volume of 98 million. We're not gonna do 98 million. So what's gonna happen here is that you get a rejection of lower price, you have lighter volume, and that's saying that the bounce is on, you know, this thing's gonna probably go up to, you know, well, the first number I had, I it just missed it yesterday, it's 446.37, but I said, I, it's so deviant, man. I actually think we're gonna probably go up to 451 or something. And we're at 440.79 right now. The reason I'm saying that is that, see, when you actually take this, you know, even though it looks like it's been a tough market, when we actually went up, and we were talking about this when NVIDIA was coming out with numbers, folks, 
we actually went to a higher high and you had higher volume up there, even though you gave it up on price. So when you do that, what it also did is it broke the downtrend that we had been in from the top. So it's like, what's the most deviant thing it can do? Guess what? Reject the, high, the low today, go higher again, and we go from there. And the reason I'm saying that comes down to, we're going to put the note market up first. Because notes, my take is that notes and bonds have topped. And, you know, if you listen to Powell out there, they, you know, he's saying, yeah, we got to watch everything again. But uh, inflation's peaked, folks, okay? Peaked in a big way, too. So if we look at the 10-year, what you're going to see is that the 10-year right now is down six ticks. We had a sign of strength on Wednesday. We came back into that but didn't break it today. We got down to 109.03, we're at 109.13. That's telling me that the first leg is basically starting. And the first leg, when you take a look at this, will get you to 111.29. And then the big deal is the good old US dollar. We get over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar, and what you have with the dollar, the dollar did about the most deviant thing it could do last couple days, okay? For, first you spiked, then it couldn't hold it. Then you did a last engulfing, and then today we did a doji, okay? So the, the swing point, the higher swing point is 104.499. We got to 104.447, and you got a doji up there. It's just telling me that, hey, this is, this is it. This is all she wrote. So we'll see. And then, well, then you go to the gold market because what had happened in the gold market also, which is really bizarre, is that yesterday when the dollar was up so high, well, gold didn't move. I mean, the dollar, the gold should have been down like $20 yesterday in a heartbeat. And what gold did today, it goes down to 1931. It does it and rejects lower price. And now you're at 1940. So gold, like right now to me, is on, on its way up to the highest swing point, which is 2028. So the, the larger moving parts, what you're hearing off me is this, the larger moving parts, meaning what can move the market, are the dollar and bonds. And the dollar looks to me like it's done going up. Bonds look to me like they're done going down. If that's the case, you are going to see higher prices coming at us. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today. And today is going to be a low volume day, but what you're going to have is that you could have a low volume day that rejected lower price. So you have Tesla's up eight bucks. You have, uh, let's see, a firm, a firm, even a firm's up. I don't know how that's up. A firm's up four dollars. You get Apple up two bucks. Let's go inside the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. The strength is the work days up six percent. You get Intuit up four and a half. Intuitive Surgical's up four. Autodesk is up three. Taking away from it, Marvel, Marvel Technologies down five and a half. You get uh, Warner Brother off uh, three. You get NVIDIA off two. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow is trading up to 278. You get the NASDAQ up 134. S&Ps are up 34. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 291. Nasdaq's up 142. S&P's are up 37. Let's go to our man, Charlie in Framingham. Charlie, what's going on, brother? Hello, Tommy. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Great. Thank you. Disney, Tommy, where is the bottom? Disney. Let's go take a look at Disney. So we take a look at Disney. Let's pull this baby up. So the low for the year is 82.46. That was done uh, that yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> the high is 118. You're trading 83.20. Okay, so what Disney's going after here, let me pull this back. It has a high volume low. And that's 84. You know, you can see that the high volume low is $79.07. See how that shakes out? You, you watching Tiger TV, Charlie? No, I'm not, Tiger. Okay, well, you, if you, when you pull up the chart later, you're going to see it. Now, it's coming into that with a lot lighter volume, but there's no doubt. I mean, this stock went from 100 no, well, from $203, and it's, <clears throat> when it gets this close to it, it's going to hit it, you know? I mean, you're, you've been into the bar for... Let's see, this is a monthly. So we've been into this bar now for almost a year. And take a look at it. Now, do you own it or are you looking to buy it? I'm looking to buy it. Okay, so what you want to do is this. Now, when, you, when you want to buy something, folks, right, and you get a high volume low, what you do first is this. First, you let it hit it, and you want a rejection of lower price, okay? That's not the buy, though. What happens then is that then you want to see a sign of strength after that. So... It comes into it, it hits it, it rejects it, right? And then most times it's going to take, you know, another, you know, it, it's hard to tell. Sometimes it's three weeks, sometimes it's a couple months. Um, then you'll get a sign of strength, and then you want, you want to buy it on the sign of strength. Because what, what will happen there is that that's saying, hey, there's no more sellers. The thing that is pretty wild about Disney, actually, I was because I was looking at this, I mean, I'm sure everyone's looking at it. You know, it's still a big P.E., man, um, you know, kind of for where they're at, you know. So it's like the forward P.E. is still running at 35. So it's like, man, you know, I mean, the numbers that they're going to be coming in with look good. I mean, you know, next quarter doesn't look good. That's why it's probably still going down. But next year, you know, it, it looks to me, well, 
Well, let's put it this way. The way that they're projecting this, gross next quarter is 21.4 billion, 74 cents. But then this thing jumps, it doubles. You know, so I think you're smart looking at it. That's the bottom line. Because Disney's not going away, man. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh. Disney has a lot going for it. You know, um, it's not going away. So I, I can see why you, you want to be all over it. Um, and, you know, it's going to be one of those deals that's going to be a very hard buy. There's no doubt about that. Do you know what I mean? But if you let it, let it basically reject that lower price. You get a rejection of that lower price. It's going to be on light of volume. Well, I'm not, yeah, let me see. I mean, I could, the, the difference in volume right now on a monthly, well, yeah, the, watch the difference. The difference is pretty dramatic, man. We're talking about 619 million versus 328 right now. You know, we're almost at the end of this month. Now, more than likely, it's going to be next month that it'll go after it. You see what I'm saying? You know, and so I, I wouldn't I, let it let it hit it. I've seen this too many times. You want to hit it because you want the rejection just in case there's something else that you and I and the whole world doesn't know about Disney. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Okay. All right, Tommy. Thank you very much. Okay, man. You have a great one, the safe one. Okay. And there's no doubt, folks, that that Disney man. Who? And you know, a lot of it more than likely has to do with you know ESPN. It has to do with the. Aspect that, you know, we haven't been, uh, you know, cable is over. Uh, internet is everything. Streaming is everything. And the real question is, is that, uh, you know, how does everyone make money on streaming? You know, but it seems to me that, you know, the, hey, we'll see. That's, that's the bottom line. The, 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 parks, the parks are never going to stop, you know. Let's go to Ray in Sarasota. Hey, Ray, what's going on, brother? Ray, you there? Okay, he, he, I know what he wants to look at. He wants to look at Heckler. So the low in Heckler is uh, 340, the high is 690. Um, yeah. the, what happened with Heckler? Okay. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Yeah, I was doing well. Good, man. So to, I, I talked to you earlier in the week about BGZ, and uh, we didn't have time but at that time because it was the end of the show, and I... Also had a question on Hecla. Uh, I'm wondering if it's bottomed or uh, I've got a position and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Okay, so let's take a look. So the the Hecla deal is totally different than the VGZ. I mean, the, the Hecla deal has to do with their lucky mine. Okay, it's shut down right now, and that's their biggest mine. Um, that being said, let's take a look at this. I think I, they had I, a fire. Yes, they had a fire. That being said, Nobody, though, what, what does happen is that, you know, you have the gold and silver market going with you right now. So everyone knows, I mean, anyone that's in the mining business knows that, you know, Heckler's, you know, not going away, not even close. So Heckler actually is the large, uh, it's been on the New York Stock Exchange more than actually most stocks have been on them. You know, mm -hmm. I would just stay there, man. Um, you know, put a stop under 340 or something, you know? Right. Because, right. you know, that, that's kind of how it's set up. You know, it, it, it's... So the last time we were down at this level, we're a, we had 160 million. Right now, you're still only at 127. That's the bar it's in. Let me show you this here. So that's the bar we're in. You know, if at, the, if at the end of the month you could close over 450, we'd be in great shape. That's the real bottom line, because that would be a rejection of lower price on that big bar. Right. And in particular, it'd be great because we know that the mine is closed down right now. You know, so that, that, yeah. that's, that's almost like a double banger. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they'll open the mine when the, it's not the fire right now. It's going to be the fumes from the fire that they have to go through the whole mine to make sure that all those shafts, okay, uh, uh, basically, you know, have oxygen in them. That's, that's what's going on right now. So. Yeah, one of the things I like about Heckler is that uh, their mines are in uh, the U.S. and in Canada. Yes. And when you think about nationalization, I think that there's less likelihood that we have to worry about anything like that with Heckler. Oh, yeah, I agree. They, listen, there's no doubt. There's, there's no doubt, man. And not only that, 
what does happen, I mean, they take out millions of ounces of, you know, silver, not, not hundreds of thousands, it's millions, you right. know, so it, 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 that's a nice setup, okay, um, and, you know, right now, yeah, see, there, okay, so there's, so Lucky Friday, out of there's Lucky Friday, you know, it's 147 million a year, so, if we divide it by 12, that's what they're going to be not doing until they open it up again. Do you know what I'm saying? Right there. Hey, yeah. I got uh, uh, one other one if you have I, the time. I absolutely do. S just stay right there. We'll be right back. We have the hey, Dow Industrials up 311. Nasdaq's up 162. S&P's are up 41. They want to run it, folks. Going to run into the close. Here we go. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. With rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow's up about 303, Nasdaq's up 155, S&Ps are up 39. We're talking on Ray from Sarasota. And what's the next one you'd like to look at, Ray? Uh, Lion One Metals. I don't know if this is one that you are familiar with or follow. Uh, it's a Canadian company. They've got a. Uh, uh, they've been a uh, uh, explorer in uh, Fiji, but they uh, go into production at the end of this quarter. Okay, good. Let's uh, take a look at it. So you got Lion One. They. Uh, I can see the in Fiji. Yep. The low is fifty nine cents. The high is a dollar nineteen. And when I pull this up, folks, this is in Canadian dollars and cents. Okay. 
So you, you can see when you take a look at this is that it's zero, except in 2024, they expect to be going from zero to 20 million. Okay. And it's traded, it's traded in the U.S. also under the symbol L-O-M-L-F. Thank you. I'll pull that one up. Okay, cool. Can you say that again? L O L O M L F. And they do their first pour at the end of this quarter. Okay, cool. I got it in the U.S. then. Let's do it in the U.S. So lows 43 cents, the highs 89 cents. You know, it's, 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 it's liquid too. I mean, you got to. It's a three penny wide, but it had most days it does two or three hundred uh, thousand shares, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let me put this on a weekly first. I'm in at the 58, nice. 59 cents. Nice. Well, last time down, I mean, this is where. Now watch this, folks, because because this is very subtle and this is, always gets intriguing. So, what we had here four months ago is that it came down pretty hard, but what it didn't do is it didn't break its swing. And what I've seen, Ray, is that when this happens, right? You know, so you, you had a high volume low at 55. It came down. Was it 55? One second. No, 44. 44. And then you, you went from that 70 to 48. And the volume expanded, but you didn't basically break the low. You know, that's normally pretty bullish, man. So, I mean, I, I don't, you need a sign of strength here first. I mean, we don't, we don't have a sign of strength here. You, you want to look, you want a sign of strength. That's, that's the bottom line. Right, right now, what it's going into you can, it's going into that downdraft that I was just talking about. You know what I mean? It's almost into the gap. The gap is from uh, 69 to 63. No, yeah, 74 to 63. That's what it looks like. Okay. You know, but, you know, what does happen is this, is that, as I said a little bit earlier, I think you're on the right side of it. I mean, I'm really, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I'm really bullish on metals right now. And I'm bullish on metals because I think the... Bonds have peaked, and I also think the dollar has peaked too. So, and if that's the case, we know how this goes. You know, metals go. Period. So, and the fact that it's going from an explorer to a producer by the end of the year, I think makes a difference. It's it's a big difference because this is what it is. It's wicked when you're going from an exploration and you have to build the mine, okay? That's when it's, that's when there can be trouble, folks, okay? When the mine's already built and you're going, as Ray said, you're built and now you're gonna get the ore out of the ground, that's a cool thing, man, because then all of a sudden it's like, okay, now we're making money, you know? Well, now at least we're making gross money. We'll see whether they make net money, but you're making gross money. Yeah, I'd stay there, most man. Of their drilling, most of their drilling was coming in at uh, 10 to 20 grams per ton. Well, that's, if they can pull that off, they're going to be, uh, <laughs> they're going to make some money, man. That's because that's, yeah. yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty intense. Okay, Ray. Well, yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the comments. Absolutely. I appreciate it. You have a have great a one, a safe one. Let's go to a John in Orlando. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, good day to you, uh, Tom. How are you? You also, man. I'm doing great. Yourself? Good, good. I want to talk about uh, Advanced Micro. Okay. Um, now, I know they haven't performed like uh, NVIDIA, but they do have some AI chips, and they do have some, you know, uh, you know, technology that I don't know why it didn't perform as good as uh, NVIDIA. Well, so... Yeah, I'll look at this technically, but when you look at it, you see even fundamentally, John, I mean, they don't expect to be doing, you know, anything like NVIDIA. I mean, NVIDIA, you know, even to the market, I mean, they, NVIDIA knew that whatever they had, you know, that their revenue, you know, you can see the revenue, it was going to go from $7 billion. Now, they, NVIDIA had give guidance to $11 billion in, in, in one quarter. Well, they did 13. 
And if you go to AMD, um, AMD is telling you that no, that's not an, an Nvidia, okay? Because AMD is saying, you know, we did 5.4 billion, we're going to do 5.7 billion. So they're not there yet in the context of, you know, AI chips. That that would be my take right. on this, you know. Right, right. Uh, how, how does the chart look to you? So when we take a look at the chart, let's take a look at we'll the yeah, that's okay. So so you had an ABC up. One second, hold on. That's 400, 405. Let me put this on a monthly. Okay, so that's a sign of strength. You can pull them back in. Okay, 102 is the number. Yeah, so this is pulling back right now into where it had some strength. It looks, I would say that, see, AMD also doesn't have a high volume high, John. So you gotta right. be careful here. You know, you very well could, it could have a consolidation though at the top of that consolidation being 132 and you're at 102. See how it's coming into that bar on the way down? It was 1.6 yeah. million, you've done 1.35 right now. So that's still a little bit too much, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. But maybe that's how that's yeah. going to shake out. Do you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't let this get too far into the, you know, the, you know, 102 area though, because the big bar there, the bottom of that bar is 81. Yeah, see? I see that. I yeah. see that. You know, I see 81. Um, but there's there's support right here. You think or no? It could break that support. It could break it. It could break it, yeah. you know. But yeah. I think, you know, this market wants to bounce, so you'll get an idea on the bounce. So if I go back to the daily for a second, you take a look at it. You broke. Okay, so you're coming into 90 million. And you did 109, but now we just did... 67. See, it's just the, the good news is that it went to a lower low today and rejected that $99. Just keep a tight handle on it, man. Don't give it much. Okay. Because it's not, it's not okay, worth okay. it, man. Just not worth it. Cooking, brother. Right, right. Okay. Have a great Thank weekend, you. a safe weekend. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now up 286. NASDAQ's up 135. S&Ps are up 35. Don't forget, folks, uh, I'm doing a webinar for all my gold subscribers. Really easy to be a gold subscriber, folks. Come over to our website. Check out the gold reports. 30-day money-back guarantee. It's next Wednesday from 4 to 5. Be there. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 274. Nasdaq is up 134. S&Ps are up 34. Let's go into the Dow and see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise here, you have uh, Boeing putting positive 32 Salesforce 30, Caterpillar 24, taken away from it, Home Depot 1. So yeah, yeah it, it's, it's kind of evened out in the Dow. But now let, let's go, let me look at these diamonds, because the, the diamonds did take out the swing point yesterday with volume. Yeah, now what you did, though, see, you, you got below it and you rejected it. But now yeah, you're still going to have volume. Let me put this on a weekly here. One second. Okay, so on a weekly, you're coming into 19 million. Yeah, see, on a weekly, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lighter volume, actually, because you're coming into right there, and that's 19 million versus 15 million. See, it's going to be a rejection also. doesn't mean it won't be back down there, but it's going to bounce first. That's how that's set up. We get into the composite, we look at the composite. Yeah, see the composite, yeah. Composite didn't even, now you, the composite didn't even get close to the swing and rejected. The composite rejected 13,373. And the lower end was 13,005. No, let's see. 13,335. And when you take a look at this, you can see, you know, this just tells me it's, that's, 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 that's a break of the downtrend. This thing, <laughs> these markets, man. Uh, let me just look at this. So what did we do? If we did, of the whole move, we didn't even do a 0.382, I don't believe. Oh, we did. Look at this. Hey, check this out, man. Yeah, let me get, I'm going to do this again because... It's almost the composite did a 0.382, or just about, of the move that started in March. You know, that's bullish, folks. <laughs> that's about as bullish as you can actually get. I know this is bizarre, but, you know, if in fact the, if the dollar wants to go down, if bonds are going to go down, we're going to see... The metals go higher. We're going to see the market go higher. And I can tell you from the, if you can get the turn right and the bond market, it's a monster, you know. And, you know, we'll see whether that's the case. You know, right now you have the 10-year. The it peaked this week. Well, my take is it peaked this week. And we peaked at 4.338. We're at 4.237 right now. And if that's the case, what would happen is this. So, so picture, you had Powell out there today, and Powell's, you know, in, within the two minutes, he's saying, hey, we still got to be careful. You know, the bottom line is that you have some out there saying, oh, there's one more rate hike, others saying no. Well, guess what? Even if, if there is one, okay, that's enough for the market to say the turn's here. My take is that there's not going to be even one. The reason being is that 
and this is where this gets really bizarre, is that we are going to start seeing some deflation in, in a lot of different things. You know, I, I've already seen it. I've already seen it in building. And, I've, you know, and it's, it's substantial. I mean substantial, not... <laughs> I, I, I told you, two days ago I did a deal, and it was, like, awesome. It was insane. Um, so there's... It, it, it dropped pretty substantially. And it has to do, you know, with materials. And uh, it makes a big difference. And... Um, you know, and I'm only a raindrop. I can't imagine, like, what the larger companies are saving, you know. And it, it, it's big numbers. It's big numbers. Go to, let's go take a look at the GDX, okay? So we take a look at the GDX. We had the sign of strength Wednesday. It came down just about filled the gap. The gap was 27.96. We hit 28.01 today. We take this and we put it on a weekly. And on a weekly, you were coming into 210 million. Look at that, unreal. It's a lot, and you did a rejection. We actually did the rejection with 80 million and I did another rejection with 91 million versus 210. And if we go to the XAU, as well as the HUI, yeah, this is a nice setup, man. It's particularly a nice setup because I can understand why, you know, folks saying, oh man, this is never gonna stop. That's when things stop. That's, that's just how it goes, folks. So if we take a look at the XAU and the HUI, did the same deal. In fact, let's go look at the GLD. The GLD now is just the metal itself. And the GLD, you know, we went higher with 7.9, you're pulling back with 6.6, .6, you're rejecting lower price. This thing wants to go too. And you can take, you know, you can see that that's a decisive break also. There's no doubt. And then if we go, so if the dollar, and you can see today, so today you can really see, folks, how the dollar can move the market up and down. Because look at this move on the dollar today. I mean, it is, you know, about as wild as you can get. You can see when, when Powell was first on, right, when the, when the S&P pushed up 34, look at, you know, what we had here. That's when the dollar went down to the 101. When the S&Ps went negative, that's when the dollar pushed all the way up to the 104,447. When I came on the air, it comes all the way back down to the 104,300. You can see that, well, I mean, it, it's, so, it's so amazing. It, it's, it's tick for tick. I mean, these machines are running, you know, the dollar and... and uh, the S&Ps. You can, you can see, see this little, so we just did a little pop on the dollar. As we did the pop on the dollar, the S&Ps just went down nine points. The, the, the right there, right as we're speaking right now. We, we're at 44.29, we're at 44.18 right now, still up 32, but that's that little pop right there. So if you can get the dollar correctly on the larger basis, you can see that the bottom line is that what it means. Meaning, in the context of, okay, if the trend has changed right there. Now, this is, when I was looking at the dollar yesterday, now this is what I didn't really pick up until yesterday, because this is really cool. The dollar actually has never changed its downtrend. Look at this. Because we actually had three, let me pull this up. Here it is right here. So look at this. We actually had three, Oh, this is funny because it spiked it now. Oh, this is uh, this is funny. Okay, yeah. As yesterday, we had three lower lows and two lower highs. Now it spiked it, but it didn't hold it. But you can see that's still that's that's still a downtrend. I mean, it spiked it. Is it going to close under? Let's see. Is it going to close under one hundred four six ninety nine? Yeah, it is. It's going to still close under it. That's that literally is a downtrend, man. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading. Where are you? Trading up 231. NASDAQ up 116. SP's up 27. We'll come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow's up 222, Nasdaq's up 113, S&P's are up 25. Let's go take a look at PGEN for one of the tigers out here. So... You get a low of 80 cents, the highs of 290. This is a biopharma company. They have revenue. I'm not quite sure what happened here. They used to have revenue last year of 26 million, the year before of 103. Now it's down to 7 million. That's for the whole year. Okay, so, and it's going up. <laughs> oh, put it on a weekly. Yeah, it doesn't look bad either. Weird. You know, if you own this, just put a stop under this uh, 147. Yeah, put a stop in the 147. It's, it was pushing with 147. You can see on the other side, the 152 to 220. That's what it's trying to get into. You know, I'm sure you know a lot more about it because the, the, the revenue has gone down, but maybe they have uh, something else that is in the pipeline because... The, the big deal now for diseases, folks, is immune oncology. There's no, there's no doubt about that. That's, that's a big deal, trying to figure out how you stop your, stop your immune system, uh, uh, kick up your immune system to basically fight a lot of these diseases. So uh, they're probably in, in a space that uh, works. UCO, let's, uh, UCO, I believe, is the double oil market. Uh, yeah, UCO, let's say Bloomberg... The fund seeks daily results, twice the daily performance of the benchmark. 
oil. Okay, so UCO. I got to make sure I get this run, this one right. I, I'm not, I'm trying to figure out what the. This is the. I can't right now. I can't do this quick enough. One second. Let me see the. Because I can't. I, yeah. Anyway, sorry about that one. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Don't forget, next Wednesday, folks, I'm doing a Gold Report subscriber event. You can be a subscriber very easily. You got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.